Now what happens in case you know you have a bigger object and it is placed before a plane mirror. So let's say you have a mirror M, M1. And the back surface of the mirror is again curved. I mean is polished. Now let's say you have an object O M which is placed here. Okay. So this is basically your plane mirror. There is an object which is placed here. Now how would the image formation takes place? Okay. So what will happen is again we will take two rays one from the top okay okay so let's again take two rays incident ray 1 or i1 and incident ray 2 I2. Now just like we did in the previous example, you will form a normal here. Let's call this as N1. And similarly, there will be a normal here, N2. So this is going to be your angle of incidence 1 and this is going to be your angle of incidence 2. Again, taking a similar angle here, the reflection will happen and for here also the reflection will happen. So your reflected ray will go back something like this. This is R1. This is R2. Now if you notice, again these rays are going back. So R1 and R2 will not meet. Okay. Now please note one thing that this extended object has to be within a finite distance. I mean you can't put this 10 kilometers beyond the mirror and expect it to be falling in place so as to form an image there. So what will happen is that again these two R1 and R2 are not going to meet. Right? And they will keep on remaining parallel to each other like this. Okay. But here also what will happen is that because they are not meeting here they will keep on extending to the other side of the mirror or rather appear to be extending. Right? So how do we find out the image in this case? So what happens is, in order to find the image, we draw another ray from point O, which goes straight to the mirror. Okay? Let's say, we call this as OA. Now when this goes and hits the mirror, because the, it is a normal in itself, or it is at right angle to this, this is going to be reflected back. Okay, and similar is the case with M. We would also draw a normal from M to the mirror. When I say normal, what I mean is it is going to be perpendicular to the mirror. Similarly, let's call this point as B. So MB is another in incident ray and it also gets reflected in the same direction. So what you need to do is you now draw a dotted line extending OA to the other side of the mirror. Similarly, you draw another extended line from MB and extending to the other side of the mirror. Now the point where A, OA as extended, let's call this as AO dash and let's call this as MB, B, M dash. Okay, so the point of intersection of OA as extended with the reflected ray as extended 
to the other side of the mirror is going to be the top point or image of the top of this object which is O which is denoted by O dash. Similarly M dash is the point of intersection of MB as extended and reflected ray 2 as extended. Now when you join these two points sorry when you join O dash with M dash what you get is going to be the image of OM. Okay, so while in terms of the construction the area might seem a little difficult in the sense that the length we have taken on this side may not be necessarily equal to the length on this side but when you do it graphically you'll get it correct. Okay, but that's the way the image is formed in a plane mirror where you take an extended object.